No more house hunting. Hopefully for a few episodes now we have our serious business face on. It's time for the National League South playoffs. Hello and welcome to part 11 of non to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have that playoff game away against Oxford. What does this even count? Is it a quarterfinal? What do they call it? Um, the playoff first round. So if you're not familiar with how the playoffs work in non-league, um, it's just one-legged affairs. So we're away to Oxford. The home team is the team that finished higher in the league. So we're away against Oxford. Well, Welling are away to Torquay. The winner of those two games then goes through to the semi-final, at which point the teams who finish second and third are introduced into the playoffs as the home team. So Worldstone was second, Woking third. So if we beat Oxford away, we then have to go to Woking away and beat them. Um, that's the wrong button. Um, and if we beat them as well, we then make it through to the final, um, which, again, will be away from home in the final because of where we finished in the league. So we've got to win three away games in a row if we're going to make it through into the Conference National. But remember, that's not what we're looking for this season. If we got promoted, it would potentially be a disaster for the club because we're just not equipped and ready to do it yet. Um, the board are already very happy with our comp competition performance, which is what I'm looking for there. So we already massively over-exceeded what the board were looking for. If we have a look at what the pre-season prediction was, which is probably adjusted a little bit now, even even with the fact we finished in the playoffs, the predictions only moved from 18th to 16th. We weren't supposed to have a good season. We have had a good season. And hopefully that good season carries on today into our first round playoff match. Now, don't read anything into the length of the episode whether we win, lose or draw this first round playoff match, we're only playing this one game on this episode. Um, so I don't want there to be spoilers because it's eight minutes long or whatever it ends up being. Oh, well, he obviously got knocked out then. Not so. Um, we're going to string this out, but mainly to avoid spoilers. So this is the team for the game against Oxford. You know this team. This is the team that we always play, um, with the exception probably of the goalkeeper and one of the strikers who, I mean, it is the team we played in the last episode, but it's not necessarily been the team that got us all the way here. Sam Nurse, and he's gutted at the moment that he's not playing in the playoffs. So we've got Kath Roll in goal, a back four of Wyatt, Bender, Mills and Hurd, with Wilkin, Noble, Sambu and Hopkins in midfield, and then Banton and Spruce up front. Sam Merson is sat there on the bench, ready to come on if needed, as is young 16-year-old Simon Tilney, who's a midfielder slash defender, who's played a few games for us now. He's played four games already. Um, he's five-star potential. He's going to be a hero, and he's probably going to be my fourth-choice central midfielder next year, which is why he's going to sit on the bench today, because... We may as well start preparing for next season because I'm expecting to get knocked out of these playoffs at some point. It might even be today. It, a, a good manager would have checked to see how we did against Oxford City in the league. We are going to have a look at that in a second. Um, it is all over to you. I don't want any pressure at all on the players. Um, you need a win here against Oxford to keep your promotion bid alive. And um, yes, I've picked the right team. It's the only team we've got. This could be the last time we see Ben Hurd, Tom Bender, Albie Hopkins, James Spruce and Sam Merson in a St Albans shirt. Do I have any special plans to give them appropriate send-off? Um, yeah, we want to win the match. Um, before we get into it, though, I do just want to see how we got on against Oxford in the league. How do we get back to look at St Albans if we go via a player? That's that's the easy route. That's the route I know. So if we have a look at our schedule, um, so we're looking for Oxford City. Oxford City, we, it was a 2-2 draw at home. We're really looking for the away game, though. When we were away against Oxford City, we did beat them. We have previous for beating Oxford City away from home this season. Fingers crossed we can do it one more time. They've never beaten me. I've never lost to Oxford City. What what better team could I have hoped for in the playoff first round? It's not even a semi-final. Noble in the area. Um, it finds its way to Bender. Hopkins is in acres of space, but controlled it really poorly, actually. If he'd have taken a better touch, he would have been able to either cross that or have a shot himself. But it's with Hopkins again. Crosses from fairly deep. It falls to Banton, and Banton, I think, hit the crossbar there. Uh, but we've had a couple of decent opportunities early on. We're, we're peppering the Oxford City goal. They need to be afraid. We're up for this. I'm glad we're up. I mean, do we start shouting already? 20 minutes in. Should we shout? Let's not shout yet. I don't want to. I don't want to start shouting too early. See, their manager started shouting too early, 
and he's frustrated some of them. But I think we've had a great start, and I think I'm going to encourage us. Ah, if I can press the right button, encourage, because we have had a good start, and I want that good start to continue. Um, we've controlled possession. We've only had two shots, so really those two opportunities we had early on is all we've had so far. Um, but Oxford haven't really created anything either. Banton across to Wilkin. Wilkin plays it forward, um, looking for um, what's his face Spruce but can't quite get there. And that's a good save from Cafferall. But we need to get back in cover, and we do, and Noble's there to lump it up pitch to clear. Um, Cafferall and Hurd both fired up by me encouraging them. They love a bit of encouragement, those boys. Noble's already tired, bless him. Yikes. As ever, I did quick, click, click the quick pick button before the match just to see what the situation was. Um, and Noble was not even on the bench on the quick pick anymore. I don't understand quick pick sometimes. I mean, he's been our only player who's been averaging over a seven all season. And the quick pick thinks, oh, like 37, don't even have him on the bench. Just get him out of the squad completely. Obviously, I disregard it. We've got to play him because he's been our best player. But it is interesting to see that if I was doing this stream style and just hitting quick pick, I wonder how many games Noble would have actually played for us this season. Um, so, let, in fact, let's not be assertive. Um, oh, don't, we've not been the better team. I am pleased with how things are going. Yeah, I am. There you go. That's delighted them. I am pleased. It's nil nil at half time. Oxford City finished above us in the league, and we're a team that was supposed to finish mid table. If we end up taking them to penalties and not actually scoring a goal from open play then that's a very positive result for us because we're not good enough to beat them in 90 minutes although we have done it earlier this season but let's not get bogged down in those kind of details I'm trying to manage expectations Noble wasn't even looking the right way but still turned quickly enough to float a ball over the top but then Spruce wasn't looking the right way and didn't chase onto it Heard heads to Sambu down to Hopkins a ball over the top aiming for Spruce again there's a lot of aimless balls forward being played in this game which I guess has been a bit of a signature of our season but Banton now running from deep and that's one of the reasons why Banton is in the team at the moment ahead of Sam Merson because he does have that a little something about him to just burst through and create a chance for himself. Bender, now to Spruce. We've got plenty of players in crossing positions. We've won a penalty. We've only won a blooming penalty. And we've got Ben Hurd, penalty machine. Don't let us know now, Ben. If you score this, you get a contract for next year. He doesn't want a contract for next year, apparently. He's scored 11 goals this season from right back. The majority of them are penalties. And I put the pressure of a contract. Ugh, I've got to work with this man for another year. Better put this in a nice, savable spot. I cannot believe when it really counted Ben's let us down. And also, what do we? if this does go to penalties, what am I to think now? Um, I've got to keep Ben Hurd on the pitch is what I've got to think because he's not going to miss twice, surely. Kiss of death there. Wilkins going to come off for Morgan. It's been a very standard substitution for us recently. Um, and then we push Wyatt forward. We push Bender out to left back. And then I guess we have to take off Noble. Noble is shattered. We bring on Edwards for him. And whatever happens now, we've got to do it without David Noble. And Sam Merson is itching to get on the pitch. And he's going to be on the pitch at any moment. We're going to get Sam Merson on now. And we're going to bring him on for Banton. Banton's played slightly better than Spruce, but he's tired. And Merson and Spruce has been such a solid partnership for us all season. We've got to go into these last 10 minutes with the two of them on the pitch together. Bender, chance to cross, plays it into Edwards. That was a lovely pass from Bender. What a shot from Edwards, and it's hit the inside of the frame of the goal. My word, did we deserve something a little bit more from there. I'm asking them to show passion for the last five minutes. They're all fired up. I don't know if this goes to extra time or straight to penalties. I have no idea how the playoffs work at this level, other than the little bit that you lot have explained to me. Right, it's extra time. Do Is it fantasy extra time? Do we get to play, make an extra substitution? Um, right, let's just... We've got to get passionate at this point, haven't we? I think we have been the better team, and now they're even more confident. Can we bring on another player? It's only a teenager, but are we able to bring him on? We're not able to bring him on. So, no fancy extra time at this level. We've got to make do with the 11 players who are on the pitch, but we fired them up just before the final whistle. We've motivated them with our, with our full-time team talk. They've only made two substitutions so far. They're saving it. They're, there you go. They've made their final change. They were saving him for when he could make most impact. Um, they're now all focused after their feedback. Um, what can I give it? What can I tell us? I'm going to encourage us again, I think. That's going to be the more encouragement. Do well, lads. 
I don't know what. I'm terrible at these shouts. There you go. I've frustrated half the team. I've ruined it. I've I've ruined it for myself. By I'm going to ask for more passion. Mercer with the corner, though. Forget my passion for now. It falls to Wyatt. Wyatt scores in the 114th minute of the match. And goodness me, did he faff about over that for a while. Merson with the corner. Let's look at this from the other angle. Wyatt took an age to get this shot away. And in the end, waiting for the players to close him down was a benefit because it was a deflection off one of them that's forced it into the back of the net. Um, right, now we tighten up. Wyatt with a free kick forward. Morgan scored. Is he onside? He is onside. Wyatt has just single-handedly won us the first round of the playoffs. With a beautiful free kick over the top. And Morgan, his first ever goal for the club. What a finish for a centre-back on his left foot. I'm going to assume he's right-footed, because who isn't? Um, but that was a beauty of a finish. He's onside as well. I mean, centre-backs don't finish from that angle on the half volley like that. That's not supposed to be something you can do. I've frustrated the players even more telling them to tighten up. I need to stop shouting and just leave them to do their thing. I'm going to put Wyatt in charge. He's clearly the big game player who's risen to the occasion. And surely, at this point, we can't throw this away. We've uh, we've battered them in, in extra time. Second half of extra time, we've just come at them and they've had no response. It's been two set pieces, um, but... You know, that's that's how we set up right at the start of the season. I refer you back to episode two of the series when we had our first game and I said, right, our plan for the season is to defend well and hit teams on the break and in with set and with set pieces. And it's been our recipe for success all season and we've done it again in this first round playoff game, which means the playoffs are going to continue tomorrow. Um, and again, unless we throw it all away in the last seven seconds of this match, the game is really drawing it out for us, making making me feel all tense. My blood pressure isn't built for this, but we are into the semi-finals of the playoffs. That is an exceptional result. Good work, gentlemen. And now let's see who we play next. So, um, Torquay and Welling haven't played yet. Why haven't they played yet? Does it not tell us? Um National League, South draws St Albans against Woking. So we're going to play against Woking tomorrow. Um, it's only four days away in game as well. My word, where did Woking finish in the league? Woking finished third. How far ahead of us were they? Let's have a little look. So Woking finished on 80 points. We were on 73. Let's see how we've performed against Woking over the course of the season. So Woking, Woking, Woking. Woking, we lost away from home to them. At, right at the start of the season, but later on, we then beat them at home. So, we've beaten them more recently, but they've beaten us at their place. It's it's going to be a big one, and that, that will be tomorrow's episode. We're off to Woking, everybody. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.